Number 92, calculate these volumes. Then we got A and B, so let me quickly just say A and B, and now let's get into A. So it says, what is the volume of 11.3 grams of graphite, and the density is 2.25 grams per centimeter cubed? Okay, so what is the volume? So that's the question, right? We need to see what the volume is. So volume, oh gosh, Christina, what kind of question mark was that? Okay, that's much better. So we got to find out what the volume is. Now here they told me 11.3 G. G, you guys should know, is grams. And grams is always a unit for mass. Every single time, 100% of the time. So mass equals 11.3 grams. And then they gave us the density. Density equals 2.25 G per centimeter cubed. So I got density, mass, volume, hmm. Oh yeah, I know a formula, right? D equals M over V. Density equals mass divided by volume. The tricky part for this formula is just matching the units. So we've done tons of these problems, so just know that you gotta just match the units up. So for example, the density unit is grams per centimeter cubed, which means that the mass has to match what the mass unit is for the density, and the volume has to match the volume unit for the density. So that means that the mass in this case had to be in grams, and the volume has to be in centimeters cubed. Now, does that check out? Well, yeah, my mass here was in grams, and my density was in grams, right? Well, the mass unit of the density was grams. So they check out, so we can just go right in and plug in and play. So D equals M over V. We get 2.25 equals 13.3 divided by X. This is a straight cross multiplication problem, right? The 2.25 will times by X, and this will times by 11.3. Now I can do this because remember, this is over one. So it might be easier to see that way. So I'll just keep it in for that. So it will turn into 2.25 times x equals 11.3. 11.3 times 1 is 11.3. Get your x by itself. Divide by 2.25. That cancels this out. And x, I'll just put it over here. x, which is the volume, is... Now, before we even plug into the calculator, we should figure out how many sig figs. There are three sig figs here. They all count. And for this one, there's also three sig figs. They all count as well. So my answer should have three sig figs. So when I plug in 11.3 divided by 2.25, I get 5.02, and that's three sig figs. So let me just write this down, 5.02. So 5.02, now we just need the correct units. So we always look back to the density for the volume unit. The volume unit here was in centimeters cubed. So centimeters cubed. They didn't say that we had to convert a to a specific unit. So that's it for this one. Check that one off. B, what is the volume of 39.657 grams of bromine Density equals 2.938 grams per centimeter cubed. Okay, so once again, we're looking for the volume. We got a mass because I see that I have G. G stands for grams. That's always a mass. So 39.657 grams. And the density is equal to 2.928. Well, let me make that prettier. 28 grams per centimeters cubed. Okay, and now straight density formula. Let's just see if we can just plug in. The mass unit was in grams and the unit for mass for density was also in grams. So they match. So we could just say D equals M over V. Plug in the numbers. 29 or 2.938 equals 39.657 over um, X, cross multiplication, this times this equals this times this. Remember, this is over, ooh, this is over one. 
So that will kind of help you out. So now we got 2.938 times x equals 39.657. Get x by itself, so you would have to divide by 2.938. Divide by 2.938. This number cancels out. And we're left with x, which was a mass. And now let's just do the sig fig game. How many sig figs were here? There was five sig figs. How many sig figs in 2.938? There were four sig figs. So when we're dividing, we take the lowest total, which is the four. So my answer should have four sig figs. So let's see, 39.657 divided by 2.928 Oh, and good thing that I caught this. This should be a 2.928. Sorry about that, guys. This is 2.928. Okay. So 39.657 divided by 2.928 is, with four sig figs, you get 13.54. So I'm just going to write over here, 13. 0.54 and good thing I caught this. This is not the mass. I, I I can hear you guys. That's why you guys are correcting me. This is the volume. So 13.59 is the volume, but now we just got to use the correct units. What were the correct units? We go back to the density. This was in centimeters cubed. So this is cm cubed. Box that answer off. That's your answer, guys. B is all done. So we have the two answers, 5.02 for A, 13.54 for B. Doesn't get any more simpler than this. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Hope this helped you out. If it did, click the like button and let us know in the comments. Or, you know, as they say, smash the like button. <laughs> Sounds very weird coming from a, a tutor, but <laughs> anyway, smash that like button, right? Subscribe and tell all your friends. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. I really appreciate all you guys. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day.